Hi everybody, it's Aneta with K-Pop Oracles bringing you another tarot reading. So today's reading is going to be on Young of NCT. It's going to be a love reading. We're going to ask the cards, you know, what does he look for? You know, I'm going to ask the usual questions. What does he look for in a partner? Um, what's his future partner like? And what's his future relationship? What will his future relationship be like? We're going to be using the Smith Weight or Rider Weight Tarot as well as the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards and the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards. <clears throat> okay, so what does Taeyong look for in a partner? What does Taeyong look for in a partner? What does Taeyong look for in a partner? All right, so we have do 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 do. Um, okay, Ace of Cups, the World, Five of Pentacles. All right, I would say someone who's very open with their emotions, like not the type that would, um, you know, just like hold back any, or just like hold back any feelings or anything, or just like really expressive, not afraid to speak um, what's coming from their heart. You know, or not afraid to tell others how they feel. Um, not the type that would, you know, hide any feelings or anything. They see like see someone who's like open. I would feel um, not afraid to be vulnerable, and also I feel like, um, hmm, I feel like with him maybe he's grew up. You know, maybe he had humble beginnings, so. Uh, Maybe someone who's like has a similar background to him. Like I feel like, and you know, or just kind of like a like-minded individual or someone who's similar to him or has similar values or similar beliefs. And I feel like with the world, it's just someone who, you know, was just able to kind of break free from this uh, difficult upbringing or difficult life and just find success and are hardworking, you know, um, really um ambitious and also just um uh, yeah let's see what else what does Taeyong look for in a partner I could be wrong. I think, I don't know. I'm not sure if he's, yeah, had a rough upbringing or something, but that's kind of the vibe I get. Because with the Five of Pentacles, it kind of means like, um, kind of just associating with people who just had a hard life. Maybe not necessarily poor or anything, but just like, just had a kind of rough life. And just kind of being around people who kind of had a similar upbringing or something, or similar life. So, what does Tina look for in a partner? Maybe the correct word is humble. Yeah, someone who is, who is very humble. What does Tina look for in a partner? Okay, we have Damara. Um, someone who's just yeah, like a, kind of like a very nurturing someone who's just like really good at helping others really kind of like um someone who'll be there for you if you know during the you know the difficult times have your back no matter what um also just yeah there's like someone who's kind of like i don't want to say therapist but kind of like um like a strong like supportive loving individual and um, I feel like maybe in some ways, like 
maybe good with children. I feel like with him, he wants, like, I feel like with him, he definitely wants kids. So someone who's really, really good with children or know how to handle them or would be a great parent. And yeah. So what is, what, what is Taeyong's future partner like? 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 So we have Justice, the Star, Nine of Cups. So this is someone who I feel like independent, very kind of cheerful, ha very happy individual. Someone who just knows how to have a good time. It's just fun to be around. And with the Star, I feel like someone who just like really stands out in the crowd. Um, like an optimist. I feel like hopeful. Like you know, not someone who's kind of like just has negative thoughts all the time or just like anxious or just like always assumes the worst like they have like when they're in like a shitty situation like they always like just hope for the best or just know that they'll this too shall pass like i feel like they have a there's they have such a level head and with the justice card is this someone who will like will treat others fairly or treat others how they want to be treated like they are re really respectful and it seems like they're really well balanced too they're not someone who's just kind of like, um, you know, like up emotionally all over the place. This is someone who just has really good control of their emotions. Um, yeah, just level-headed, balanced, fair, and also, um, yeah, kind of like, you know, like a <laughs> like an ob obedient citizen, you know. So let's see, what is Taeyong's future partner like? We have Siege or Sige. Um So this is someone, um, you know, I feel like someone who's independent as well. Someone who just likes, needs kind of like a lot of alone time and recharge. Like I feel like someone who's just kind of like a, like an ambivert, you know, like someone who's like a, someone between an introvert and extrovert. Like they love like hanging out with people, having a great time, you know, socializing stuff, but at the same time, they also need time to themselves to recharge and heal and, um, and rest. So, and also they seem like a, also spiritual in some ways too. Like maybe someone who's just like, likes to meditate. And also like, I feel like also a deep thinker as well, or, you know, it's just philosophizing about things or just pondering the meaning of the universe. And, yeah, so like really spiritual in some ways. So what will Taeyong's future relationship be like? <clears throat> future relationship be like? Hmm. Alright, so... Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like when he meets this person, like, or maybe, um, I feel like he will, like, okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, so it's like kind of like someone who's just like rushing into, who tends to rush into relationships, so I feel like, um, <laughs> like, with this person, like, he'll try to, like, like, I don't know, like, um, let's see here. I feel like if one of those types that would rush into relationships, um, I feel like it would most, like, might be him, like, when he sees someone that's, he likes or is attracted to or vibes really well with, like, he'll try to, like, um, you know, get into, like, kind of, like, a, like, a relationship with them pretty fast. Um, and then I think once they establish a connection, there's going to be love, like, um, good, you know, good communication between them. I feel like they would really, um, spend a lot of time with each other. So this is the Eight of Wands. So spend a lot of time with each other, travel a lot together. Um, like, I feel like they'd be able to kind of, like, if there's, like, any minor irritations, they'd be able to, like, kind of, um, talk it out. Like, they would be really open with each other, like, open and honest kind of speak what the, what, what's in their mind and just be able to kind of resolve things kind of in a calm manner and very diplomatic but like I feel like with yeah these both individuals just like um just able to work out issues really well like they're not I feel like they're not the type that would like get into shouting matches or yell at the person like I feel like they're not really the argumentative type um yeah they just like they don't like to not the type that would just hold grudges, I feel, like, or just kind of sit on things, or just, like, one of those people that just, like, sleep on, sleep on it, or what, sleep on things or something, like, they just want to, like, yeah, when it comes to issues, it's just, like, want to resolve it now, like, and also just in a manner that's really calm and not, like, negative or antagonistic. So, what does... What will Young's future relationship be like? Rubalite. So, I feel like this is a kind of a connection where there's a lot of, a lot of love, a lot of passion. And something that's like, I feel like they would find this relationship to have, to be like one of the most important things in their lives, something that has a lot of meaning or a great impact, and something that's just like dear, you know, dear to them. And so I feel like this is going to be like a really important connection for both parties. Just, I feel like there's going to be like, you know, great communication, just like, um, like not a whole lot of issues really um so whoever he ends up with so yeah so that is all i have for you if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like and subscribe subscribe button and until next time bye